So just how far is the moon away from us on a flat earth? Uh, this is a question that I've uh, been looking into lately. Uh, it arose from another question that came up in the comment section dealing with why the moon appears to be flipped one way or the other depending on what hemisphere you're viewing it from. And as I was looking into that question, this one came up and I discovered a very easy way using Stellarium to tell how far away the moon is on a flat earth. So uh, what I've done here uh, in Stellarium is I've, had, I've entered some presets. The first one is the Indian Ocean right off the coast of Malaysia. And um, uh, let me turn the azimuthal grid on here. We'll need that. And the reason I chose this location is it, because on this particular day, that I uh, started looking into this. Uh, this is the point where the moon went directly over the zenith in the sky. And we're gonna be able to tell that with this azimuthal grid here. And as the, here comes the moon across here, and I'm gonna stop it right in the middle, um, right on the dot. And uh, you're gonna see that uh, it, <laughs> what, what that is, folks, that is 90 degrees directly directly above you right there 90 degrees and um, uh, you would have to be laying on the deck of a ship or something in order to see this uh, of course you, uh, you'd be laying laying flat because at a 90 degree angle it really hurt your neck to try to stretch back that far so you're laying down on the deck looking straight up at the moon at this particular time um, and and what that is that forms a well that's a 90 degree angle from the ground, um, if you can imagine, 90 degrees straight up there. Now, uh, we'll need another point, and I've got that preset as well. At this point's going to be called uh, Schmidt Island in the Russian Federation here, way up here uh, at the top of the of the world here, at the top of in the at the top of the globe. <laughs> um, but let's see from Schmidt Island, what do we? What do we see here? Uh, we scroll down, and there's the moon, but it's not directly overhead, is it? No, it's directly at 10 degrees off the horizon. And you can see uh, the, li the line right here going um, up to the moon the, for off the azimuthal grid. If you can imagine, that's the viewpoint of the fella that's laying on his back in the middle of the Indian Ocean. <laughs> He's looking straight up, and this line right here is the line that he is, it, that's his line of sight. And from way up here at Schmidt Island, uh, our line of sight is obviously not directly ab above us like it is for him, but it's to the side. Now, what this is, this is a giant right triangle. And uh, with right triangles, we can determine, if we know the angles, and we do, we know that the, the, the guy on the boat there is at looking at a 90 degree angle. He has a 90 degree angle. So with the 90 degree angle and the distance of the, of the base of the triangle, we're gonna be able to calculate all of the angles and the distance to the moon. So let's see what this comes out to be. Uh, but before we look at the math, however, let's try to get an idea of what this is in our heads, in our worldviews. For those of you who believe in a globe, here's what you would visualize down here in the middle of the Indian Ocean um, is location one and Smith Island up here at the top of the globe is the location number two. And Google tells us it's 5,460.2 uh, miles uh, between the two locations. Uh, on a flat earth, we have this view here. Let me zoom in. Here, Schmidt Island up here, off the coast of Malaysia here in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And again, 5,460 miles between the two, giving us our uh, base baseline here on our right triangle. And when you have a right triangle, you can calculate distances very, very easy. Right here, this angle C is the 90 degree angle, the guy on the boat, if you will, looking straight up at the moon. 
and uh, I've calculated the distance from C, which was Malaysia, to Schmidt Island in Russia, and it's 5,460 miles. And, of course, the thanks to Stellarium, we know the angle at Schmidt Island was uh, 10 degrees. Now, uh, that's all you need. You hit calculate here. And <laughs> there you have it, folks. 963 miles is what the math says the moon uh, is. 963 miles straight up from the guy in Malaysia. And the, over here, uh, 5540 from Schmidt Island uh, as compared to what we should see if we were in a heliocentric model and the moon was 235,000 miles away. Uh, here from C, if you're in Malaysia and you're looking straight up, 235,000 miles is what you're supposed to be seeing. Now, angle A, uh, you've got the uh, 5460, again, the miles from Malaysia to Smith Island. The angle is 88.67 degrees while you're standing in Smith Island to get your 235,000 miles to the moon, folks. That is what we should see now what that means is if you're standing in Russia you're standing in Malaysia and uh, you're standing on that boat looking up uh, you're a 90 degree angle what this is saying if you're in Schmidt Island 5,000 miles away you look you're basically looking straight up again you're looking at 88.67 degree angle from the moon back you're looking at a 1.33 degree angle and here's the math folks that's saying it uh, there's, it's not me saying it, it's the math saying it. This website, Cleve Books, thank you very much, Cleve Books. This is a very neat little calculator to do this. This is first year geometry, is what this is. It's not that difficult. 